hydroform interlocking block making machine is an industrial machine. Like with any other industrial machine, it is very important to adhere to specific safety rules when working around or operating the machine. Let's talk about safety in general. And it's important to know that safety is everybody's responsibility. The very first person, it is your responsibility. Secondly, safety is the responsibility of the site manager or the production manager or the owner of the hydroform machine. Before you work, stop, think and act. By doing that, you will be aware of possible health issues or risks involving the hydroform interlocking block making machine. When we operate the machine and work around the machine, make sure to wear PPE. PPE being personal protective equipment. Also, it's very important to adhere to local rules and regulations regards to health and safety factors on a specific site you might be on. Having discussed a couple of safety issues uh, in general, I'm going to move on to safety issues specific to the hydroform interlocking block making machine. The machine is a mobile machine, so first thing is when towing the machine, make sure not to speed. It is not made for high speeds. Also, make sure that it is hitched correctly to the back of the vehicle towing the machine. When you pick the machine up and put it on top of another vehicle, make sure that the machine is tied down. We can also have a look at the hitch in specific. Make sure that the hitch is in a good operating condition. Make sure that it's greased and make sure that the electrical connection on the tow hitch is in a good condition. Moving on from there, more specific to the operation of the machine, first part we will find is the pan mixer. The pan mixer is a high risk part of the machine. When the pan mixer is in operation, there is mixing arms and blades inside the pan mixer, which is driven by an hydraulic motor. The force of this is very high. Make sure that the safety grits is always in the down position when loading material into the pan mixer and operating the pan mixer. Never put your hands or arm inside the pan mixer. Even if it's switched off, try and keep body parts out of the pan mixer. Be careful when you load material into the pan mixer. We can, for instance, use a shovel, and if you use a shovel, make sure not to push it inside the pan mixer. With a builder's bucket, make sure that the handle doesn't go into the pan mixer. Moving on to the rest of the machine, we're going to look at the top ram and the bottom ram of the hydroform machine. Remember that these components are also hydraulically driven. Keep your hands well away from the top ram and the bottom ram as well as the chamber. Keep in mind that the hydroform machine must be operated by a trained operator. Also very important, do not hit the top ram and the bottom ram together. This will cause damage to the machine. Never operate the machine without soil in the chamber. When you manufacture hydroform interlocking blocks, make sure that you never manufacture blocks shorter than 100 millimeters. We're gonna move on to the next step and that is when cleaning the machine. It's very important that you make sure that the machine is switched off. If your machine is an electric machine like this one, make sure that it's disconnected from the electrical source in order to avoid an accident happening when cleaning the machine. If your machine is equipped with a diesel motor, make sure that the motor is stopped before you start cleaning any of the parts of the machine. Remember to book training with Hydroform. You've got two options with regards to the training, and that is training at the Academy in South Africa. You can also use the option of on-site training. Contact Hydroform in South Africa, and we will supply you with all the details. Mm -hmm.